Hi everybody, Evan from Codify here. Welcome to week nine. And the very first thing that we're going to talk about, we have quite a bit to talk about this week, but the very first thing we're going to talk about are some additional methods for selecting HTML elements from our JavaScript. So real quick, here in my HTML, I have one, two, three, four divs. And the first three of these divs have a class of box. And the first three of, div of these divs each have a unique ID, div one, div two, div three. Okay, and we can see here on the page, class of box, ID of div one, class of box, ID of div two. Down here, this fourth one, no class, no ID. Okay, four divs. I've styled them a little bit so they're easy to see. And we can see what, exactly what we're working with, but there's nothing crazy going on here. Now, up to this point, we have frequently used, in fact, I can do this in my console, frequently used get element by ID as a useful method for easily selecting or targeting HTML elements from our JavaScript. Right, so if I type in document.get element by ID div2 and hit enter, then it returns to me that second div element. So I can store this line of code in a variable and that variable will always contain a reference point to this second div element. So far so good. Okay, but that is not the only method to target elements from JavaScript. Another one that is very, very good to know is document.get elements by class name. What do you think this one does? Well, it selects elements which have a class name of whatever I put inside these parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to type in box, and this should select all the elements with the class of box. I have three divs, one, two, three, with a class of box. Before I hit enter, though, I want you to think about what is going to return. Okay, we've already addressed get element by ID. We see that it returns one HTML element, and last week we made it clear that an HTML element to JavaScript is simply an object. Okay, so this is one object which returned for this line of code, document.getElementById, div2. So document.getElementsByClassName, box, what do you think that's going to return? We have multiple elements with the class of box. So is it going to return the very first element with the class of box? Or the very last element with the class of box? Is it going to return, going to re, going to return all three? Well, the method is get elements as opposed to get element. So it would stand to reason that it's going to return all three elements with the class of box. So if you made it that far, bravo. But the follow-up question is, what data type is that? Okay, one element returning, we know that an element is an object. So this is one object. The data type is the object. Document.getElementById, div2, evaluates to an object. What is this going to evaluate to? So I'm going to hit enter. And what it shows us is this HTML collection which has three items. If I expand it, I can see the first div, second div, third div, length of three. What does that tell you? What does this look like? Okay, we're using square brackets to indicate this HTML collection, this list of three elements with a length property of three. This HTML collection behaves like an array. Okay, it's technically not an array, but that's not a terribly relevant point right now. It looks and behaves 
very, very much, almost identically like an array. An array of one div, an array of another div, and another div. Three divs in an array. Okay, now that's important because document.getElementsByClassName is going to return an array-like HTML collection. So what if I only wanted to target this second div, but I needed to use get elements by class name box in order to do so? Well, the easy solution, if this is an array, all I really need to do is target the first second item in that array. How do you target the second item in an array? You use an index. So if I attach if I attach an index to document.getElementsByClassName box, this is now going to return instead a single HTML element. Okay? This is critical. This is critical. You you must not mistake what is returning when you use a function like get elements by class name. This returns a collection, an array-like collection. Get elements by class name followed by a specific index returns one element. Okay, so if I wanted to target the very first item in that array, I would change the index to zero, and that would give me div one. If I change it to two, to target the third item in that index, it gives me div three. If I change it to div th to index three, trying to find a fourth element with a class of box, it turns undefined because there is none. There are only three elements with a class of box at index zero, index one, index two. Okay, this is important. If I created a variable called divs and set it equal to document dot get elements by class name box then divs now contains an HTML collection that behaves like an array it does not contain an element it does not contain an object it does not contain three objects it contains one array which contains three objects it is very, very important that as you get deeper into JavaScript, you keep careful track of what data types you are dealing with at all times. Which means anytime you write a new variable, anytime you write a new line of code which you expect to be evaluated in a certain way, test it in your console. Plug it into your console, hit the enter key, and see what comes back to you or write a console.log message in your code that prints the value of whichever variable you just wrote to your console. Make sure you check every data type you write, everything you add into your code. That is going to be the only way that you avoid errors. And it's also the best way to troubleshoot problems when you run into them. Okay, so that's get elements by class name. One more is document dot get elements by tag name and what this is going to do is it's going to select all the elements which have this tag name in other words all the divs or all the anchors or all the images or all the buttons okay get elements by tag name and this behaves exactly like get elements by class name it returns an HTML collection except in this case the length is four because we have one two three four divs we're no longer just looking for divs with the class of box or elements with the class of box we're looking for divs of which there are four Okay, so get elements by class name and get elements by tag name. Both return HTML collections. Now there are two more methods for targeting HTML elements from your JavaScript, but we're not going to go over those until next week. I want you to try to practice with these this week. It's imperative that you 
get comfortable seeing and using these and understanding what is being returned. Understanding what is being returned. Before I move on, let me try one additional thing. I'm going to take away the class of box on all but one of these divs. Okay, so now only one div has the class of box. Let me get rid of this as well so we're not confused. Okay, only one div has the class of box. And now in my console, I'm going to run document dot get elements by class name box. Okay, now what do you expect to return here? There's only one div with the class of box, so there's only one element that could possibly return that could possibly be selected by this method, this function. But we've already assessed what data type is returned by the get elements by class name method. And what returns is an HTML collection. Doesn't matter if there is one div with the class of box or a million divs with the class of box. Even if it's only one, it will still be one item in an HTML collection. So never take for granted the fact that get elements by class name and get elements by tag name returns the equivalent of an array. Even if that array only contains one item. Okay, so this is the HTML collection that returns for get elements by class name box when there's only one div with a class of box. And by contrast, let's just take a quick look at document dot get element by ID div two. This returns an individual object representing an HTML element. Okay, I need to go inside this HTML collection to select that element. All right, moving on.